Pesh Sagafi, Liberty Home Mortgage here. What am I talking about today? Renovation loans. So if you're looking at homes out there, you're a real estate agent looking and you're seeing her saying, this house needs a renovation. How do these loans work? I'm about to tell you in about five to seven minutes. So this is a short video, but you gotta subscribe to my page to watch my other videos, like, share, and comment, ask questions you want. Before I start, my friend Raquel, my new friend Raquel, I get a lot of people that send me shirts and different things like that. I don't know why they send me shirts or anything like that, right? Okay, no, I'm a child of the 80s. I was born in 73, but I'm telling you right now, I love 80s music. Raquel, I can't tell you how much, I, look what Raquel sent me. You probably can't see it from there, but man, ACDC, um, Metallica. So I was never a big Slayer fan. Like Slayer's not my thing. Met old Metallica, man, you go to their original album, stuff like that. Um, Megadeth, I met Dave Mustaine, oh my God. Um, Kiss, well that's for Andrew. Scorpions, Def Leppard, love Scorpions. I've always wanted to see Scorpions in concert. I need to catch them in concert, okay? Def Leppard's touring with Vince Neil. Vince Neil, man, like, like work on the vocals and you know, getting some exercise and different things like that, whatever. I can talk on that for 10 hours. How do renovation, Raquel, thank you for the mug. Anyways, how do renovation loans work? This is how they work. You go look at a house today. I'm gonna make math simple on you, okay? The house is $80,000. Now, everybody watching me right now is like, where in the world are you gonna buy a house for $80,000? I'm making this up. This is fantasy world, okay? The house is $80,000. You walk into it, you're like, holy smokes. It needs a new this, a new that, whatever it is. It needs $20,000 of work. This is how it works. The purchase price is $80,000. So to all the real estate agents watching me, you make your offer in the as is condition. You do not make mention of the repairs, the cost or anything. You make your offer, I'm gonna buy this house for $80,000 in the as is condition. The seller accepts the offer, $80,000. The next step you go to after your offer is accepted, get your contractors out there to look at the house. I tell people this all the time. If you see that house right now, and you start putting in offers on that house, it might take you two to three to four to five to six days to get that offer accepted, negotiated out and accepted. While you're waiting that two to six days, start calling your contractor right then and there. Get that contractor out there immediately. Think about it. You call the contractor today, they're not coming tomorrow. Okay, they're probably coming in four, five, six days. And then when they're out there, they're gonna take another three, four, five, six days to generate the quote. So think about this. You're going to look at the house today, start calling the contractor, get the contractor set up. He's coming out and he or she's coming out in six, seven days. By the time the contract is negotiated and finalized in four or five days, that contractor's coming out there one to two days later. This is how we get a jump on this stuff. So you get the contract out there. The contractor goes out there and generates a quote. The contractor says it's $20,000 for all of these repairs. The next step, is I've got the purchase contract, that's the first step. I've got the contractor quote, that's the second step. I take those two things, I order the appraisal. The lender orders the appraisal. It's 80 grand to buy it, 20 grand to renovate it, that's 100. When the appraiser goes out to the house, they appraise the home as if the work is done. So that house has to appraise at $100,000. Now there's certain guidelines for FHA, the house can actually under appraise. I'm gonna leave that stuff off to the side. This is basic 101 renovation, trying to keep this straight in your mind, okay? We want the house to appraise at $100,000, okay? So you're buying it for 80, you're renovating it for 20, that's 100. The appraiser goes out there, appraises it for 100,000. Now, you're, I'm gonna make this up. You're putting 5% down. You're putting down 5% of $100,000. That's your money, that's $5,000. So you, the buyer, put down $5,000. I, the lender, give you one loan of $95,000. Write this down. I give you one loan of $95,000. So when we close your loan, I give you a mortgage of 95. dollars You bring five to the table, that equals $100,000. We take 80 of that $100,000, and we pay off the seller. The seller's gone, they've got their money, this is good. The other 20,000 for the renovation, I, the lender, am holding that money. I don't give it to anybody, I'm holding it. The contractor goes out there and does the work. We then pay both the buyer and the contractor, and I shouldn't say we pay the buyer, but it's a two-party check, okay? I've had buyers say, hey, Hash, I don't want that contractor getting a dollar. Their job stunk, 
and it's not complete and they need to come back out. We do not cut the money directly to the contractor. It's a two-party check. The buyer has to sign off on it also. It protects the buyer. So ultimately, it's one single loan with one single house payment. It's a normal loan on a normal payment schedule. We close in February of 2023, which is where I'm standing right now, but this video is gonna be up there for hopefully years, months, decades, eons, and centuries. Um, your payment starts, by closing February, your payment starts in April. So your first payment's April, it's one single payment. We don't give multiple loans, we don't cut checks to the side, we don't give people cash, we don't let the buyer, borrower, buyer do all of the work or stuff like that. It doesn't work like that. You're buying the house for 80, you get the contractor quote for 20, we order the appraisal, 80 plus 20 is 100, appraiser hits $100,000, we close on 100,000, you bring 3.5% of your FHA, 5%, whatever, you bring your down payment, I give you one single loan for the difference, we pay off the seller, hold the money until the contractor does all of the work. That is how renovation loans work. That's simplified, by the way, I have other videos on a lot of other things, but make sure you subscribe, like, and share. If you have questions, comment. Of course, if you need a loan done, I lend in 45 states. Give me a call, 216-780-1103, and before I let you go forever, thank you, Raquel. See you at the next one.